miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the 50th webisode of the Long Island Blues Warehouse. You always go to ekoproductions.com for further info, and you can always go to liblues.com, click on the webisodes link, and check out webisode number 50 and 49 before it. Mark Klein hanging out with you. Please put your hands together. Welcome this week's featured artist, Lauren Diamond. You're so sweet, darling. You take me places I never thought I'd be. I never thought I'd be. Give me goosebumps at night Never felt so right Can I be so lucky? Love like this doesn't come easy It's hard to find I'm not changing my mind be foolish but leaving this all behind so I'm not gonna leave no cause I keep on falling deeper deeper in love with you yes I i 
Oh, yeah. This week's featured artist, Lauren Diamond. Ralph, help me out with this. The brand new CD, Perseverance CD, the fourth track we just heard off the CD, Fallen. Well done, kiddo. Well done, indeed. How you doing, Lauren? Doing all right. Welcome to the Blues Warehouse, let me begin by saying. Thanks for having us. It's so good to have you in here. You and I have a mutual friend, the amazing bass player you have over there, Mr. Even Steven Levy. It's good to have him on this stage. And it's good to have you, thank you thank on you. this stage. It's so good to have you. New York City's own Lauren Diamond. Lauren, let's talk about when you began musically. How old were you? When did you decide this is something you were going to do in life? Were you, a young, were you a young child? I always, like, I sang, like, when we went on family vacations and, like, the karaoke and stuff, and I always enjoy doing it. But I'm very, like, focused in whatever direction I put my mind, but I didn't put my mind in there. I just love doing it. So I started around being very serious about it around 17 or 16, but I had a passion with acting and then it completely came to the singing and that's what I'm doing now. So Very nice. Did you sing in junior high and high school as well in, in various school projects? I started writing music, but I always said to my friends, I want to write this for, for like this person. And people would be like, why don't you write it for you? And I'm like, I don't know, but I didn't see that as me and then I grew into it more so like around 18 I when started going to like clubs and I didn't play guitar at this point and I would just stomp my feet and snap my fingers and I would show up to places and they're like you can't really do that and I'm like yes I can just listen <laughs> and I just really wanted to get a sound and then it kind of evolved and I um, picked up the guitar around 20 20 seriously so what a few, it, a few so. months a few months ago ah, I love you <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> it says in your bio that you're 20. I will not disclose that information. A bio written by you, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Um, well done, kiddo. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Do you um, collaborate with, with others when you write? Do you write by yourself? Let's talk about how you go about writing some of these great tunes on the CD. Uh, the CD, I write... I like, I would prefer, like, I, I like it when people play instrumentation and I could write the words and the, the harm, like, the melodies. But um, that's, that's pretty much the CD. Like, I, I have um, two co writes on the CD. Um, one of them stabbed me in the back. I think it's the seventh or the eighth track. I'm not, I don't have the CD in hand. Which one is it? Sounds like the making of a good blues tune, I'll tell you what. <laughs> um, let me see, one, two, three. You got 11 songs on this CD. Oh, that's number seven on this thing. Yeah. Okay. So that one I wrote that's a co-write, and my co-write is Matt Dickey. Influenced by an old relationship, I'm guessing. I'm not saying. Just a guess, <laughs> just a guess. Left for your own interpretation. Fair enough. Um, it's basically, it's a co-write, and Matt Dickey wrote the guitar parts, and we kind of vibed together on the sound, and it came into that, and we had fit, if initially wrote it, it's kind of like a, like it was almost like a Latin kind of vibe, and then we got into the studio, and it turned into something completely, totally, totally different. Then the other co-write on there is uh, What You're Gonna Say, and that's like a very, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like Motown, like very, very like funky. And that, I did a co-write. I did all the words and the lyrics, but the, the sound was from Vin Shala. He did the background sound. So that's a co-write. So I enjoy both. I do. What kind of music do you remember listening to at an early age when you were, let's say, five and seven and ten years of age? What kind of music were you listening to in the house? Do you remember? I do. What, what kind of, what were you listening to? Uh, Michael Jackson. Okay. Um, new Kids on the Block, of course. Um, <laughs> uh, I went to a Britney Spears phase. I listened to country music. I listened to um, just like everything. I can't describe Alanis Morissette. Um, <sighs> I um, don't say everything. <laughs> There's the, the. I'm sure you didn't listen to opera back then. As a little kid, I don't. I blues? Any blues to speak of? You know, I didn't start listening to blues until I was in college. Later years. Okay. And I was introduced to it, and someone's like, I need to change your whole entire like music Perspective. listening, and I think this will help you. And I just listened to it until I was sick of hearing it, and then my I wanted to match the kind of sounds that they did. And I like to improv. Um, so I've heard, yes. And I, I really feel like it's like the most freest kind of expression and it's kind of 
my personality. It's very out there, and I like I don't like to have like a measured something that you should do. I feel like just being free, and miss, that's miss, like miss why introverted, I like quiet little you. <laughs> <laughs> better late than never, but better late than never. But I'm glad you I'm glad you finally got there in terms of that type of education in music, and what an education to have, and not a bad upbringing that you've shared with us so far. And you're very very young in your career, so I can't wait to see where you go next in in your journey musically. But we're off to a great start here at the Blues Warehouse, so I thank you for that. Let's, uh, let's get into another tune. We'll come back and talk to, uh, a little bit more with you and some of these fine session players you have on the stage. What are we doing next? Stormy Monday. Oh, love it, love it. Well, once again, on the Long Island Blues Warehouse, we are going to keep it moving with our lovely and talented featured artist, Lauren Diamond.
Oh, yeah. This week's featured artist, Lauren Diamond. Bit of an old soul squeezing through there, young lady. <laughs> well done, kiddo. Well done. Very, it got a few degrees hotter in here, I'll tell you what. Let's grab on the bass if we can, if it'll head up to that mic a little bit. Even Steven Levy. How you doing, Steven? Oh, right. It's good to be back on it's, Long Island. It's good to have you back on Long Island, my man. Let's, uh, let's backtrack real quick. 20 years ago, when my little Blues Warehouse show began on WBAB Radio here on Long Island, you entered the studio with, who was it with? Vince Converse, Vince Converse Andy, from an old band called Sunset Heights. Yeah, Andy began. Andy began on, on the kit, on the drum kit. Right. Little power trio you little, boys came in. Yeah, I think we were supposed to be opening for Johnny Winter that that show. We had a we had a little thing happen in there that yeah. Johnny got sick and it was a last minute cancellation and God twenty good memory man I forgot about that good memory it's good to see you though yeah. and I see you once in a blue moon in New York City yeah sometimes I'm hanging out at occasional and me too occasionally <laughs> um, very rarely in the city these days because you know I'm an early bird and it's hard to go to some of these great jams eleven twelve two three in the morning during the week. And, uh, you know, function the next day. But uh, I do run into you occasionally out there. Let's talk about um, how you hooked up with, with this lovely young lady here. How did you two cross paths? It's funny. Uh, I've been working with Dave on and off for a number of years. On the drum kit? On the drum kit. And a mutual friend of ours, Bill Kurz, who I know from Nashville and from New York, um, told me Lauren was looking for uh, a bass player. And Dave was working. And I said, hey, you know, give her my number. She called me up. She sent me some tunes, and I was I was sold. It was, that, nice. it was that simple, you know. The voice was just so infectious; I couldn't get it out of my head. The earth and the stars were aligned that day, huh? They sure were. Very nice, my man. Very nice. Great session bass player, my man, holding down the bottom end real well as always. And it's great seeing you again. Yeah, you too. I can't wait to see you guys do some live things out here on Long Island. Are we going to make that happen? Let's do it. We need to talk about that because there's some venues around Long Island that would appreciate what this young lady does. And what a tremendous ensemble behind you, young lady. So I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, we got you guys in here to do this, and I'm thrilled to see you again. Even Stephen Levy on the bass. Thank you. Well done, my man. Let's grab on the keys, if he'll head up to, uh, to Even's uh, mic for a second. Eric Finland. How you doing, Eric? Doing good. Nice little solo you threw in there, my man. Thank you. You added a nice little dynamic to this project. Let's talk about uh, some background and history with you. You've been playing this thing since you were a little guy? A little guy, yeah. Five what was the influence? Oh, I would I would say Beethoven. No kidding. Yeah, you classically trained? Classically trained from five on, and uh, went to Berkeley Col College of Music uh, for three years, and then moved to New York, and trying to do it. Very, and so far so good for you. And your and I, I played with the Blues Brothers. I, I toured with the Dan Aykroyd group, the Blues Brothers. No I, kidding. Yeah, so that was cool. You did the. Intro. Do you know Lee Finkelstein? Yeah. The drummer, yeah, from the Funk Philharmonic on Long Island, who still plays today. Yeah, no doubt. With uh, with the Blues Brothers, he, uh, he's on some of the hits, not all of them. Yes, but yeah. he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Very good friend of mine. Yeah. What a small world, my man. Yeah. Keep going strong. Keep thank going you. strong. It's good. It's good to have you on the stage. Yeah. Thank Eric you. Eric Finland on the keys. Thank you so much. Lauren Diamond. Let's keep it moving. Let's get into another tune. We'll come back and talk to some of these other fine players shortly. What are we doing next? Killing me softly. Say it again. Killing me softly. Oh, killing me softly. You good to go? Mm -hmm. Well, once again on the Long Island Blues Warehouse, we are going to keep it moving with our featured artist, webisode number 50, mind you, Lauren Diamond. Strum in my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words. Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his words
This week's featured artist, Lauren Diamond. Well done, kiddo. Well done, as always. Let's talk to the drummer, Mr. Dave Dawson. Hi there. How you doing, Dave Dawson? I'm good. Welcome to the Blues Warehouse. Let me start by saying. Yes. Let's talk about when you began. Did you start uh, playing the kit, like basically in the womb? Uh, actually, no. Um, when I was about four or five years old, I started playing on my brother's back. Literally, yeah, I used his back for a drum, and um, I didn't really get serious about it until high school. You know, I was practicing paradiddles on his shoulders. Uh, something, something like that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, what are you doing, junior high and high school musically? Are you involved in school projects and things like that? Well, in high school, I basically did choir. I okay. didn't really play. I mean, I was, you know, more singing back then but um i always wanted to play but i you know i really didn't get serious until i graduated uh, right out of high school you you, yeah. you got passionate with the kit yeah what were you doing with what were you, were you involved in 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 projects and just playing at jams in new york city what what are you doing out of high school musically uh nothing really um nothing really music related other than you know singing in the choir that was about the size of it okay yeah How'd you hook up with this lovely young lady? Well, it's a long story. Let's make it short. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I auditioned for her when she was starting out, and um, it actually didn't work out. Fast forward to about, say, maybe a year or so later, we're both on this album, Occupy This Album. I was on with another band that I was playing in, and she was on, and there was a showcase at the Gibson showroom, and we ran into each other there. And... I said, hey, what's going on? So, you know, why don't we get back together and play something? And we actually sat in that night at the show, and we haven't stopped playing since. Very cool. Very cool. Well done, my man. What a great dynamic you add to this, to this project as well. Oh, thank you so much. Really enjoying uh, what you're, what you're uh, contributing to this thing. So keep thank going you. strong. Thank uh, you. Dave Dawson on the kit, I thank you so much. Let me grab Frosty for a second, if I can. Frosty Lawson on the trumpet. How you doing, Frost? 
I'm doing great. How are you? What was the last instrument you played? That's called a flugelhorn. AK. That's a flugel. Yeah, they call it a pregnant trumpet. Uh, a pregnant trumpet. <laughs> okay. Happy, happy. I get it. I get it. Um, well done, my man. Well done. Love what you're about with the horn. Do you play the whole horn family, by the way? You play them all? Yeah, I do. I play tenor and alto sax, and I play a slide and valve bone and trumpet and flugelhorn. You play clarinet, too, by chance? I have one at home. I have a flute. Soprano uh, horn? If I had one, I'd play it. It's pretty much the same thing as playing a I work with kids with cancer over at Stony Brook Hospital on the pediatric floor. Every week, as you know, I bring musicians up to play. Once in a while, like Little Buster, remember Little Buster? Yep. Some of his horn guys will show up with a soprano uh, uh, horn and come up and play the music of Kenny G type stuff for the kids. Oh, they love it, man. I'd love to get you to include you in something like that. We, absolutely. We'll have to talk more about that. You did this show with me a few short years ago, about two and a half years ago, yep. with uh, a, a, an old sax player that still, still plays today with Billy Joel, Richie Canato, of course. That's right. Richie's got his Monday Night Jam at the Bitter End. Yep. You are a part of that uh, Monday Night Jam band. I've been playing with him for seven years. In fact, I met Lauren through that venue in the Better End. That's how I met this young lady. Is that right? Lady. That's right. What a small world, my man. What a small world. Uh, Jersey fella, by way of Kansas, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. Moved. You, uh, you, you have a, a few interesting things. You have a sad card. Yes, I do. You've, uh, you've, uh, pl you've done some acting. You've done yeah. a little acting. I've been in uh, you know a few uh, episodes of uh, Boardwalk Empire. Uh, Boardwalk uh, Empire. Ugly Betty. Ugly uh, Betty. Uh, what else? Uh, good Wife. A few things. You know. I've been, the Good I've, Wife. Yeah, a lot of the things. Network that television. I do, yeah, a lot of things I do are music roles because that's what I'm most comfortable. So I don't have to act. I just be. You know. That's all. Yeah. Very. Act cool. like a musician. Okay, I can do that. Very cool, my man. Very cool. Well, it's great having you on the stage with me again. How long have you been working with this lovely, talented lady? We've, since this project began, you, we started working, yeah, a couple of months, but uh, and then I did the 99 song, I did the trumpet on that project with you, I played that, that particular song. You getting forgetful in your old age, young lady? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right, that's all right. Well, Frosty, uh, another great dynamic to the project, man, a anything you do musically turns to gold in my opinion Thanks. and it's great to see you uh, back on the stage with me doing what you love to do and what i love watching you do so god bless my man Thank you. frosty lawson on the trumpet lauren how are you kid doing fantastic you ready to go you ready to get back to work we're ready to sing a love song for you what are we doing next uh at last at a james oh love it love it you good to go good to go long island blues warehouse we are going to keep it moving on this 50th webisode at eko studios with the incredible lovely and talented lauren diamond <laughs>
tell you what, I got to meet Etta James about four months before she passed away. And I know that she's looking down, smiling on that beautiful rendition you just gave. So thank you for that, Lauren Diamond. Well done, kiddo. Thanks. Let's uh, grab Kevin Hunter for a second, if we can, on the guitar. How you doing, Kevin? Good. How are you? Welcome to the show, my man. Thank you. Great New York City session player. Love having you in here. Thank Great you. dynamic you add to the project as well. Let's talk about some history with you, if we can. Sure. Let's talk about when you began. Were you a young guy? Uh, no, actually, no. I, I was playing. The first thing I did was play hockey. I wanted this. You were a hockey guy as a kid. Yeah, at junior A. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. I played the Spectrum. I played really? Coliseum. Yeah, I was, I was really serious about. Gaming. When did okay? And when did you uh, change direction uh, into the music scene, man? About when I was about twenty. Around that. Really? Day. Yeah. All right. Once in a while, we get late bloomers in here. Better late than never. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that's a, what made you decide that was uh, a direction you were going to head into. When I saw Jimmy Page play. Jimmy Page did yeah, it for you. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Hendrix. Jimmy Hendrix, Page. Oh, Hendrix is outstanding, too. I mean, <laughs> but I just happened to see Jimmy Page that time. That, and that, and that, that, that was the big influence. Yeah. Okay. So at this point in time, are you, are you taking lessons? Are you locking yourself in your bedroom, just practicing scales and playing uh, records? What always. Do you, every day. All of it. All of <laughs> every it. Every day. Very cool, man. When did you start playing out uh, in, in live venues? Um, uh, when I was... Well, if you 20, picked up the guitar 20, 20, 20 a year later, you're playing live yeah, yeah. to Publix. Yeah. Very cool. So are you self-taught? Um, I took a couple lessons for a while. And, a couple uh, lessons. And then, yeah, pretty much self-taught. That, that's about the uh, very yeah. the force, man. Either you're born with it or you're not. Yeah, you apparently were born with it. You still dabble with hockey today, by the way? No, not so much. Soccer. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. American soccer? Uh, uh, well, I, I've played in Europe. Football? Yeah. Um, yeah. European football? Well, yeah, football. Very cool, man. Yeah. Very cool. Let's uh, talk about uh, some nice highlights for you. Um, a big highlight for you, in my opinion, obviously, working with this lovely young lady in the front here. Before you worked with Lauren Diamond, my understanding is you had an opportunity to work with Shania Twain. Yep. How'd you get that opportunity? Um, I played with a band whose management was friends with her management, with Bruce Springsteen. And uh, they knew about my talent, and they said, go and audition. And I did several auditions, and I won. No kidding. That was, that was cool. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, Janet Jackson. Yeah, that one was uh, also, um, I knew some other musicians and they uh, from the Fugees. And they said, hey, come and uh, do a session down with Janet Jackson. I was like, fantastic. They called me like two in the morning. I was like, yeah. You were probably up anyway. No, actually I wasn't. You were sleeping. <laughs> I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> New York City players, man. Usually they're up all night. That's the, that's the, uh, yeah. that's the stereotype. Yeah, that's true. All right, but that's you true. were sleeping. Yeah. And you got the call and you were receptive to the call. Oh, always. <laughs> always, always. I'm not going to call you 2 a.m. to see how receptive you are. No, I'll take your word now, for it. Now I'm awake all the time. I'm all I'm awake until. <laughs> Very cool, man. Very cool. Um, you know, so the, you know, the, there's a few other things you've done. Uh, just to name a few, some of the highlights that we talked about. One thing that intrigues me, uh, a popular show from, I guess, the 80s, yeah, I Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, I wrote, a, I wrote a lot of the incidental music and background music for it. No kidding. And, did uh, they make a cartoon character out of you and stick you in at the show? No, I wish they did. How cool would that have been? That would have been great. Mike Judge was a very cool guy. Very cool, and, and man. All the people there were great. So uh, are there any soundtrack Beavis and Butthead things? Because they had some great rock stuff. No, yeah, I know. A, a lot of the stuff that and their shows. I did was, I guess it's on YouTube. Okay. You know, little bits and snitches. Very cool, my man. Snippets and such. Very cool. How'd you hook up with this lovely young lady? Through uh, Mr. Frosty. Okay. It was, uh, it was his uh, kind givings. So you, how, how do you know Frosty? How did you cross paths with Frosty? I, uh, I went to uh, see him play at, at the Bitter End. At the Bitter End. And On a Monday night at the jam, one of the jams? Yeah, exactly. And we, we played together. We jammed together a couple times. And then he, he said, hey, you should talk to uh, Lauren Diamond. And that was it. That guy too, Eric. Yeah, Eric is the same way. Very cool, yeah. man. It's, it's, really it's a great good. core band, and, and, and yeah. you know, how lucky are you guys to play with her? How lucky is she to have you guys behind her? Uh, it's a great so team. It, it, works out, it works out pretty well. It's, really good it's just a great ensemble players, man. And, uh, Kevin, you're, you're a great dynamic to the project, man. And Th Thank you. Keep going strong yourself, man. God bless, man. Look forward to seeing a too. lot more of you with this project and other things to come, it sounds like. So I look forward to seeing other things you do. Thank you. Kevin Hunter on the guitar. I thank you, sir. Thank you. Lauren Diamond. You ready to keep it moving? We're ready to keep it moving. Let me see the time here. 35, 45. Yeah, we got time for two more. 
We got time for two more, so let's uh, get into another one. We'll do our goodbyes, and then you guys will play us out. Okay, we're gonna do uh, "Use Me" oh, by the Bill, Bill the Withers. Bill Withers thing. You good to go? Yeah. Long Island Blues Warehouse. We're gonna keep it moving with Lauren Diamond. <laughs>
This week's featured artist, Lauren Diamond. Well done, kiddo. Let's, um, let's do a couple of goodbyes, and then uh, I'll, I'll ask you about the website, and then you guys will play us out. Let's, uh, let's start with over here on the keys. we got to thank Eric Finland. Thank you so much, Eric. Well done, my man. On the bass, even Stephen Levy. Thank you, even. On the drum kit back there, Mr. Dave Dawson. Thank you so much, Dave. Let's see, who do I have next? Uh, on the trumpet, of course, Frosty Lawson. Thank you, Frosty. On the lead guitar, Kevin Hunter. Thank you so much, Kevin. Last but certainly not least, the lovely and talented and old soul, Lauren Diamond. Thank you so much, Lauren. Lauren, please share with us the website so people can follow you and see things you're doing in the future. So the website to check me out um, is www lauren diamond music.com and it's my name spell l-a-u-r-e-n-d-i-a-m-o-n-d music.com um i write blogs on there i regularly i regularly <laughs> update my shows i have info about my players um stuff i've done and it has information of how to purchase the album that I, we just released lauren diamond music Slow motion. Lauren Diamond Music You know what these guys are going to speed that up and make you sound like a mouse, right? Lauren Diamond Music, they can. <laughs> Perseverance CD. Well done, kiddo. Well done. You uh, are going to play for my kids at Stony Brook Hospital on the pediatric floor in a few short weeks, and I'm looking forward to having you for that. You're also going to do an acoustic thing, I believe, with Kevin Hunter back there uh, on my uh, Friday morning live blues warehouse show at 90.1 FM or WUSB.FM every Friday from 8 to 10. You're coming in a couple of weeks for that. I'm looking forward to that. So thank you in advance. And uh, well done, kid. I really enjoyed having you in here tonight. Our 50th webisode. And I thank you so much for uh, doing what you do. And I can't wait to see where your uh, journey takes you next in life musically. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you for having all of us. We had fun. It's my pleasure. We fought in the car a little bit, but we're here. <laughs> you, li you live to tell the tale. And it, and it made you stronger <laughs> for it, I'm sure. Uh, another story for another time. Um, always remember to go to ekoproductions.com. Uh, to check out this studio, EKO Studios here in Deer Park, New York, the official studio of the Long Island Blues Warehouse. For the Long Island Blues Warehouse, I'm Mark Klein at liblues.com. Always remember to uh, go to wusb.fm, check out my live Friday morning blues show um, every 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. And I thank you so much for checking that out as well. Lauren, you're going to play us out. What are we finishing up with, kiddo? Do a little bit of Nora Jones, Come Away With Me. You good to go? Yeah. Well, one more time on the Blues Warehouse, we say goodbye to our lovely featured artist. Thank you. Thank you. Lauren Diamond. Let's do it. Come away.
Never stop loving you. 